thought these were a late Christmas gift. Oh, no. well, here. Oh, here. Take them back. Take them back. I don't care. Take them back. I, I, huh? I get all the Power Ranger stuff I, I want anyway. Here, take them. I thought I explained to you the way the whole thing works with Santa Claus. <sighs> well, now that you mentioned it, Howie, it's time to introduce a woman who's been bringing lots of goodies to the kids at Fox. She was the visionary behind the Power Rangers, not to mention Fraggle Rock and Muppet Babies, two titles that slip off the tongue. Hey, Vic Mature, you're not talking about Queen Midas, Margaret Lesh, the president of Fox Children's Network? Uh -huh. Well, that's the one. She's a walking lucky charm. Number one, nine sweeps in a row, four Emmys. She's a player, Howie. Uh-huh, I, I think I found your next butt to kiss. Watch what you say, Howie. You you're talking about the president of Fox Children's Network. Please! Put your swords together and welcome Ms. Margaret Lesh. Good afternoon. It is a pleasure to be here again. It's been another great year. I hope it keeps up. Today I'll give you a financial update on our cooperative venture and update you on our programming moves and rating successes. For a lot of people, our current success would be enough but not for us. In fact, in many ways, we face more challenges now than when we started in 1990. It's going to get harder to maintain our strong position in kids' television, but we can do it. There are new networks, increased syndication opportunities, new technologies, and frankly, because of us, smarter competition. That's why this year we'll be working harder than ever to provide children their favorites, and the unexpected. We think we want to give kids the kind of network that they know where we are, they know where to come, the place for the kind of entertainment that they want. And most of all, while people may look to us as leaders, I promise you, we will continue to look at ourselves as the underdog, to go that extra step to succeed. With that in mind, we decided to move up our 95-96 schedule announcement to February 8th, over a month ahead of last year, giving our producers that much more time to put all they can into our shows. Our message to advertisers will continue to be, you can never predict what FCN will do next. Before I proceed with my remaining prepared remarks, I'd like Preston to join me to present the Bill Jenkins Award this year. Preston? He's coming from backstage. Go ahead. Mr. Padden. Well, as you know, the Bill Jenkins Award is the award we give to the individual we feel has made a difference with the Fox Children's Network. And this year, we're very proud to honor a gentleman who's been with us since the beginning who's been with us when the times were very tough. And I'm pleased to say that we're giving this award this year to Mr. Kevin O'Brien. We're not sure if Kevin's here because this is a surprise for him. Is Kevin here? I, I think, I'm guessing Kevin may be getting ready for uh, the INTV meeting since he's board chairman this year. Um, so even though he's not here, let me just say that uh, I'm sure I don't have to remind anybody here how difficult the launch of the Children's Network was. And in the very early days, there was some very heavy fire aimed at us by some very powerful forces in this industry. And I had occasion to watch on several occasions Kevin take that incoming fire, turn it back. He walked the plank in his own market when another supplier was trying to uh, threaten and coerce him into not uh, leading us in this effort. And it is in remembrance and recognition of all of those efforts that Kevin receives this award this year. So when you see him later on, uh, tell him he's got a plaque coming to the coming state to station. Thank you. Thank you, Preston. <clears throat> Well, to start this afternoon, let's take a look over the first half of the season and what that means financially to you. With the November Sweeps win, FCN has been the number one network 
for eight consecutive sweeps were now viewed by over 35 million children and teens every month. Monday through Fridays, our shows represent five of the top seven weekday strips, with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers continuing to maintain record-breaking ratings. On Saturday, the story gets even stronger. With an average 6.8 rating and 27 share among children 2 to 11, nearly equal to ABC and CBS combined. We're also number one with viewers 6 to 17, adults 18 to 49, and even households. While some people may think it's all due to one or two shows, look at this. The Fox Kids Network is number one in every half hour we program with both children and teens. What does that mean to you as members of the FCN Cooperative? <clears throat> well, for the past five years, we have been projecting that we will begin to distribute your share of the profits of the Fox Children's Network to you by no later than August of 1996. For the past five years, we've been projecting that we will be distributing between 40 and 44 million dollars to you. Well, how do those projections look today? We have had increased cost, increased cost of programming, including lots of new episodes of Power Rangers, and with our commitment to educational programming and the Fox Cub House, our cost of doing business have certainly gone up, but so have our revenues. If everything goes according to our newest revised projections, I'm very pleased to say that by March of 1996, the Fox Children's Network will be in a break-even position financially. By the end of the first quarter of 1996, we will finally become profitable. And best news of all, instead of distributing $44 million beginning in 96, August of 96, we will begin distributing over $48 million in May of 96, millions of dollars more months earlier. Rupert's multi-million dollar investment has paid off. Your patience and support has paid off. You'll be receiving more details in months to come, but as you can see, the promise of the FCN Cooperative is coming true. We have a great team at FCN, we have good programming, strong marketing and promotion, and a commitment to entertaining children in the best ways we know how. That's our recipe for success. Now we're currently forming our plans for our new fall schedule and we'll be making those final decisions in the next couple of weeks to announce to advertisers. In the meantime, I can go over some of the things we do know, like our February schedule. <laughs> Look out! She's back! Come on! This is it, detectives! Carmen San Diego returns to Saturday mornings on Fox in her most incredible new adventure ever! Whoa! Check it out! At an exciting new time! Let's go! Right after the Power Rangers, join your favorite gumshoes! Zack! Ivy! And the greatest criminal in the world! <laughs> Come on! Carmen's getting away! But not for long! Keep an eye out for the all-new Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego! Coming Saturday morning, February 4th to Fox Kids! That's right. Carmen San Diego, more exciting than ever, finally comes back to our schedule on February 4th, along with the premiere of our most anticipated new show, Spider-Man. Spider-Man excitement is coming to Fox. Get him. This is all I need in my life. Flying robots. That loose cannon must be removed. Gentlemen, I give you my spider slayer, the Black Widow. So who's on my tail this time? I am the kingpin. Okay, hotshot, let's see how tough you are. Ah, now that's tough. The Black Widow can neutralize all of Spider-Man's powers. Good. That is as it should be. Spider-Man. Hey, cool it, guys. The Widow and I are trying to share some quality time. Take me out to the ball game. Uh-oh, foul ball coming. The Mets need me a what? Strike one. Strike two. Strike... Ooh. I'm out. I'm out. 
Oh, the capture of Spider-Man. Catch Spider-Man and his all-new adventures coming February 4th to Fox Kids. Thank you. Well, when we aired Spider-Man as a special back in November, which was frankly the first episode, uh, which was, as you know, a long time in coming, it delivered a higher share in kids and teens than ABC, CBS, and NBC combined. Kids love Spidey, and they can't wait to watch every week. So here's our schedule. Kicking off at 8 with the Power Rangers, followed by Carmen Sandiego with all new episodes. At 9, it's Animaniacs, followed by our own extravaganza, which really found its audience this year. At 10, it's Spider-Man. And at 10.30, the only new breakout hit for Saturday morning on any network, The Tick. 11 o'clock brings us the X-Men, followed by the adventures of Batman and Robin. Well, we firmly believe that no amount of schedule shuffling can match this schedule. We'll support this lineup with some exciting contests, including a chance for one kid to win four full-size Marvel superhero arcade machines. Now, none of you dads, you're not supposed to enter this contest. It's for kids only. I'm sure Mitch Stern will be the first to sign up. Better yet, how about a chance for a lucky family to win a real full-size convertible car filled with Hot Wheels? OK, moving on to our newest shows, what about Life with Louie? As you all know, we did produce six episodes this season. When we aired one as a Christmas special in primetime, it delivered the highest numbers ever for a non-Simpsons animated special on Fox. When we aired the same episode the following Saturday morning, it was number one for all shows across the board on all networks. So it was an easy decision to pick up a full order of 13 episodes and save them for our new fall schedule. Life with Louie is a very special series, appealing to all ages at all levels. We think what makes this show so special is the heart and the humor of the creative source behind the show and all its characters, Louie Anderson. In case you missed it, here's a clip from our Christmas episode. Christmas morning was special, too. My dad would announce the price of each gift as it was opened. Now, if they're happy, this sled was about 12 bucks. We'll be eating for a month, but they can slide down a hill. Maybe they'll hit a deer, and then we'll be able to cook it. Yeah. The only way to break even on that deal. Wow! You better like that. I had to take out a second mortgage on the house to pay for it, and we don't even own this house. <sighs> Here, Dad. Pump of mine. For me? Oh, thank you very much. I don't have to eat something. Hey! I've been looking for these tools! Ah, <laughs> 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 you got me. All right, Mr. Funny Guy. Very amusing. <laughs> Just like his old man. <laughs> so where's the real present? Come on, let's see it. What do you really give me? Thank you. So what do we know about what's going to happen this fall? While we haven't locked in the schedule, as I mentioned earlier, we do have a pretty good idea about what shows will be in our weekday lineup, starting with Tasmania. Quality animation combined with broad appeal humor, this has made this series a top performer for many years on the Fox Children's Network. It's our third highest rated strip, and it's sure to continue performing for us this year, as well as our other, other Warner show, The Adventures of Batman and Robin. A whole new audience found Batman and Robin this year when we moved it to Saturdays. And right before we move it back to strip this fall, we expect another big boost this summer when the third Batman feature opens, entitled Batman Forever, which features Jim Carrey as the Riddler. Also returning to Strip will be Bobby's World. We simply couldn't be prouder of this show. Successfully making the leap from Saturdays to Strip, Bobby is more popular than ever and shows absolutely no sign of aging. It also provided the perfect lead-in to our Fox Cub House. 
We expect to bring back all the elements that made our educational series so successful this year, including new episodes of Jim Henson's Stinky and Jake Show, Johnson and Friends with new episodes, and Rimba's Island with new episodes. We will continue to refine and perfect the wraparounds for a more cohesive presentation of our highly ambitious preschool project. You know, considering the short time this series has been on the air, it is pretty amazing that it already ranks among the top 10 in its target of two to five year olds and is beating more established shows which attract two to 11 year olds. It also recently received the prestigious Parents' Choice Award. Moving to strip for the first year this time, first time this year, will be X-Men, which we will continue to, which we think will continue to thrive with its broad audience of kids, teens, young adults, and even adults. We'll also have a good supply of new episodes to bring our X-Men series, up to a total of 70 episodes, enough for original episodes to air during the key sweet periods. And of course, there's last but never least, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Although we haven't finalized our fall schedule, we'll probably keep it at 4.30, where it's working so incredibly well for us. I'm constantly asked by many of you, just how long can this thing last? Well, it certainly has defied the odds. We're doing all we can to keep the show interesting with kids, including, as many of you know, cast changes. We've, we're adding new villains more episodes as we previously said. We're keeping the humor and the fantasy elements fresh. Speaking of new episodes, we've ordered 42 new episodes to make sure we have a strong supply for this February sweeps, the upcoming May sweeps, and of course the new fall season. And don't forget this summer when the Rangers make it to the big screen. Fox will be producing Power Rangers the movie, which will be released this summer and should further invigorate and excite our young audience. Moving on to Saturdays, we know Life with Louie will be on our schedule, as will Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego, but also returning will be Eek Stravaganza. Eek proved how strong it really is, growing an audience delivery by 12% in share. The Tick will also be back, as I mentioned earlier, the only new series on any network to become a breakout hit this season. You can expect to see also The Tick in store soon. It has become a hot property in licensing. And just a reminder, you, the members of the FCN Cooperative, participate in the licensing revenues. Let's take a look at FCN's newest star. I've had enough chasing. It's your turn now, Forrest Bog. Thrakosog! Thrakosog with a K! Boy, are you ever rude! Eat rude brown! No brains today. We're only serving humble pie, watch a zog! Listen, buddy, for the last time, it's four lax in a bog. Thrakosog! Ah, uh, laxative log. No, no, no. Laplander zog? No. Four yaks in a dog. Thrak! Sap sucker frog? No, no, no! <coughs> Susan? <sighs> now you're doing it on purpose. How juvenile. <laughs> It's such a neat series. Well, we're also contemplating keeping at least one of our strip shows, X-Men or Power Rangers, on Saturdays as well. And Spider-Man, of course, will also be on our Saturday schedule. New shows? Well, I'll mention a couple. We have a new project from Saban, which has many of the best elements of fantasy and adventure from Power Rangers, but it's distinctly different from Power Rangers in concept and characters. We think we have something new and special. From the incredible uncharted reaches of space, time has come for the newest hero of the universe to fulfill his special mission. My destiny? He alone must defend a world he's never known from an evil galactic force. Planet Earth is Count Dragon's next target. But grandfather, I can't just leave you. Go before it is too late. On Earth. You will live two lives. One is the humanoid Dex, and one is the lone defender against the evil dragon. Max Rider! 
He uses his fantastic powers, cool gadgets, and wild vehicles to battle awesome bug-like creatures. Should we go after him? No, we should let him take over. Of course we should go after him. Dex is one out-of-this-world teenager who's ready to take on anything the universe can dish out. He is the only thing standing in the way of my conquest of Earth. But how does a teenage alien crime fighter blend into suburban American life? <laughs> With the help of his new human family. My well, father's gonna land in someone's backyard. I'm glad it's yours. If the kids at school knew the mass writer was living right here in my house, you better not tell anyone, Albie. You guys are the best, and I'm never gonna let what happened to my planet happen to you. I promise. So bad guys better beware of the mass writer. Oh, so you heard of me? Why you? There will be laughs, <laughs> unbelievable special effects, and excitement. <laughs> That's what being a family is all about. Masked Rider, coming Saturday mornings this fall to Fox Kids. Thank you. As I said, this show will be different from Power Rangers. We think it'll be a compliment to Power Rangers, but it will be much more of a, a situation comedy. Well, probably the new show we're most excited about is not new at all. It's one that has meant so much to children of all ages. It was a favorite of mine when I was a little girl. It's been a favorite of many all over the world. It's been especially a favorite of one big, big kid whose company is bringing this beloved character to the big screen in a major motion picture this summer, Steven Spielberg. The star, everybody's favorite ghost, Casper. Late yesterday, we reached an agreement with Universal for the television broadcast rights for an animated series based on the Casper live-action movie. And while it's still too early to show you anything, I can show you a bit of the movie, which will give you a good idea how special our series will be. Again? Gosh, I don't really want to scare anyone. Then get rid of the discount polyester bed sheet, deadhead. <laughs> just want a friend. Ah, that's awful. What a sheet weenie. Get a life. What a waste of a death, huh? Being a ghost is really dumb. That does it. Sorry, nephew, but it's time to go on the big scary. <laughs> Ghost. Don't come near me, you spotless. Smell something? season opens May 26th. Yes, again, bone bag! <laughs> Thank you. Now, as we've said all along, what makes the Fox Kids Network different from other children's program sources is that children just don't watch us. They join us. They belong. And nowhere else is that more true than in our Fox Kids Club. Can you believe it? Our magazine, Totally Kids, is now read by more than 13 million people. And together, we've made sure that it stays absolutely free. That's very impressive and something that we should all be very proud of. And this year, we went one step better, entertaining children and expanding our reach in a whole new medium, radio, with the Fox Kids Countdown. The Countdown is now heard on well over half the country, 
on close to 90 radio stations, and we just went on the air in July. It's probably the fastest growing radio show in syndication today. If you haven't heard Chris Leary in the countdown, you're missing a terrific two hours of all family entertainment featuring today's hottest songs with special appearances by Fox Kids personalities. This month alone, our co-host includes Spider-Man, Zach and Ivory from Carmen San Diego, and others. In fact, today's show, which is included in your folders, features a special appearance by John Madden, giving his own kids, Fox Kids play-by-play. -play. Guys, let's take it to him. Ready? Right! Larry steps up. He waves his arms to quiet the roaring crowd. Hey! Talk about crowd control. Dog City One! Dog City One! Sit! Put it! Put Chris takes the snap from Yakko. Always glad to be of service. Eek the cat lands a crushing block. Larry fades back, gets ready to fire. Oh, what a hit! Fumble! Larry's coughed up the football! There's a mad scramble. I don't believe it. Kicks recovered the ball! He's in midfield. To the 30. To the 20. Look at the blue superhero run to the 10. The kick's going all the way. Touchdown! The Fox Kid Countdown pushes win. It's too bad he's not enthusiastic. <laughs> if the countdown isn't yet cleared in your market, we urge you to do so. Not only does it mean more exposure for the Fox Children's Network, but each FCN TV affiliate gets one minute of free promotion inside the show each week an opportunity that works for all of us and allows us to expand the Fox Kids promotional wheel from mornings to afternoons to Saturdays to print to radio and back again. Now before I close, there are two areas of our schedule which I haven't yet talked about, our PSAs and our specials. Regarding our PSAs, we will continue to fulfill our commitment to children to impart vital information and values to try to make a difference. If you haven't seen it, here's our newest PSA from our own Fox Children's Productions. And now, message totally for kids. We believe in many faiths. OK, Mark, see you at the gym. We come in many colors. We speak many languages. Nico, haz lo mejor que puedas. Suerte, eh? Thanks, Dad. See you later. We are black and yellow, white and brown. We've come together to form a nation. We are Americans. And here in America, we're all on the same team. As you know, we're very proud of our ability to schedule stunts and programs to keep kids guessing and surprised. This year, we've even topped ourselves, and I couldn't think of a better place than Las Vegas to tell you about this season's opening stunt that will leave everybody talking about Fox Kids. For the first time ever in children's television, you will be amazed and dazzled and hopefully swept away by the animated adventures of Siegfried and Roy, Masters of the Impossible. They've amazed and astounded audiences with their fantastical stage show. Their unique combination of wizardry and exotic animals has transformed the world of illusion. They've become masters of making the impossible possible. What could they possibly do to top all this? Now, Siegfried and Roy bring their special kind of magic to the Fox Kids Network. In an unprecedented miniseries, Secret and Roy, Masters of the Impossible, Sir Moji. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, in closing, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you the newest stars to lend their talents to the Fox Kids Network, Siegfried and Roy.
all years if you uh, thank you i appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> thank you margaret for the wonderful introduction um, it's an honor to launch our new animated miniseries on the fox children's network like our show here at the mirage the fox children's network has a very little competition <laughs> <laughs> Particularly when it comes to the children's daytime programming, right? That's right. You see, magic holds such a vivid fascination for people across the world. But it's best seen through the eyes of a child. Of a child. The Fox Children Network offers an infinity stage for Siegfried and me to entertain, to inspire, and to educate. For 25 years, we have performed for children of all ages. And we always attempted to convey the same important message that imagination is limitless and that each person has the power to make their dream a reality. And that certainly has been the case with Siegfried and me. Our animated series will stay true to this theme. People constantly use the phrase, capture the imagination. But the mystical world of magic and illusion just does the opposite, it allows it allows the imagination to run free. That's right. The Fox Children Network has inspired the creativity of a new generation, and we hope to add to that explosion of imagination to our animated series. And I would like to take the opportunity now to introduce to you one of our co-stars, and of course, take a salute to Miss Margaret Lett. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> Right. And as you can see, the eat out of the hand, and don't take the hand. So it's the same like children, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they take the center stage, but you have to make just the best out of it. This is a little different. Well, right? Jaipur will be negotiating our next deal on Fox. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's all yours. <laughs> Thank you. It's all yours. Thank you. Good afternoon. Excuse me, Howard, but was that not the most beautiful <coughs> speech that you've ever heard? Was it not the most moving and sincere soliloquy ever orated by a woman between the age of 35 and 54? I mean, man, I will never, oh, shit, I mean, never forget what that means to me and what a good friend Madge has been to me over the years. Terry, her name's Margaret, and you don't even know who she is. Oh, it really doesn't matter, does it? what her name is. She's the kind of woman that can launch the Terry Maniacs. And that's what's important. She's a great lady. Oh, God, the tears are killing me. I'm just too verklempt to talk anymore. Please, Howie. Please, partner. You have turned into an executive boot-licking, sorry excuse for a host. Look at you. Oh, thank you, Howie. You know I've really worked at it. Now, me? Hold on. I don't suck up to anybody in this town or any town, except for our next guest. 